Remote Teleport, and today we're walking you through our session sharing feature. So to get started, I'm already logged in. There's been an incident on this host, and I'm going to need Joe to help me. So the first, I'm going to log in myself and um, just do a quick check and see what's happening. Okay, I am now logged into the box as ECT user, and I'm going to run, um, see who was last to log in. Let me see, there's a few root users. So I'm going to um, start a new session. In this session, I'm going to run teleport status, and it's going to tell me a few things. It says uh, I am logged in as Bennett Go Teleport as EC2 user, the cluster ID, and the session ID. So I can send this over to Joe, and he can come join me on this session. So I've already asked Joe if he can help me. Um, Okay, so I've sent in the session. Um, I'm going to be role-playing as Joe, so I'm going to show you what it looks like on Joe's side. Okay, now I'm going to show you what it looked like for Joe. So Joe gets the message from Slack, and he's going to have to log in because we only have a 12-hour TTL on his certificate. So we're now logged in as Joe. And so next up, we are going to join the session. So we're going to use login EC2 user. And we'll get the message from Slack, the ID. And now we're logged into the session. So if we do hello, Ben, you can see my other terminal, everything is captured. So if we run top, my other terminal runs top. <clears throat> so you can think of this as a sort of a multiplayer mode in which the two users can um, debug and work on the system at the same time. And you can even uh, kill this session. So both connections have been killed. And that's the end of session sharing from Joe's side. Let's go back to Ben's side, and we can see what's captured during that event. OK, we're back on my system. And you can see that the connection was closed. And let's see what was also captured in Teleport. So all of this activity um, will be captured in active sessions. You see there's no longer an active session. If I was to start one here, You can see that we have an active session. You also have the option to send this to another user. And um, you can see I actually started as Joe. I'll be able to join this as Ben. And if you use the web UI, this information will also be shown in um, the terminal. So as I type it on the web UI here, you can see that the same information is repeated in the terminal. So no matter where you are, different locations, or whether you're using the web or the CLI, you'll be able to use session sharing. So let's quit this. If I come to the audit log, you can see that all of these session events are captured. You can see if someone joins a session or if they leave a session, and then you can play back the session as well um, with the session recordings. So you can see that this had two users, and we can play it back. <clears throat> so if we come to session recordings, you can see that all the session recordings also keep a log of who joined which session and how long the duration was. This was a seven minute session. If I come in here, you can play this back. And this is an example of our session sharing recording capabilities. This brings me to the end. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in our GitHub discussions.